how do you overcome fear of failure, or fear of success, or, or fear of fear itself? You step. And how do you face the fear of the unknown? You step. Don't wait anymore. Don't think anymore. Don't plan anymore. Don't contemplate anymore. Don't make any more excuses or justifications. Don't rationalize anything else. No, no, and no. Instead, be aggressive. Take action now. And what is the first action that you need to take? What's the first step you need to take? The first step you need to take is just that. Step. Take that first step. Do whatever it is that you thought you couldn't do and don't be afraid because that is the most important moment in your life. And then you realize it's not so bad. Okay, people are making fun of me. I failed, but they never tried anything. I at least tried it and I have an idea for my next, but it wasn't so bad. But if you never make that first step, I don't care. The wisdom of Solomon won't be able to help you. You'll always be stopping before you. Can. So you've got to be have the guts to make that first step and then the doors will open for you. You're a smart person. You do know. You know exactly what to do, but you don't do it because maybe you don't believe in yourself. Maybe you're so scared of what happens if you actually win. But all I can say is let that shit go. All that chatter in your mind. All you got to do is take that first step. And don't focus on a year or two years or five years from now. You don't know where you're going to be. Just put one foot forward in front of the other. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Now, I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything except my faith. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. As Naval Ravikant said, the only way to truly learn something is by doing it. Yes, listen to guidance, but don't wait. It's all risky. The minute you were born, it got risky. If you think trying is risky, wait till they hand you the bill for not trying. If you think investing is risky, wait till you get the tab for not investing. See, it's all risky. Getting married is risky. Having children is risky. Going into business is risky. Investing your money is risky. It's all risky. I'll tell you how risky life is. You're not going to get out alive. That's risky. Well, you should be afraid of taking risks and pursuing something meaningful. But you should be more afraid of staying where you are if it's making you miserable. It's like the first thing you want to do is dispense with the idea that you get to have any any permanent security outside of your ability to contend and adapt. It's the same issue with children. It's like you're paying a price by sitting there being miserable. You might say, well, the devil I know is better than the one I don't. It's like, don't be so sure of that. The clock is ticking. Yeah, and if you're miserable in your job now and you change nothing, in five years you'll be much more miserable and you'll be a lot older. You have to take chances in life. If you don't take chances in life, you'll never have the life God has for you. Life is about risk. If you play it safe in life, you ain't going to have much of a life. If you play it safe, you won't have much of a life. Life is risk. It take, it take courage to pursue your dream. I just did it. It cost me everything, but eventually, God is very good, man, when he sees you take a leap of faith. He supplies you everything you need. Now, it's gonna cost you something, but most people, most people, most people are not willing to pay what it costs to go after your dream, because you're gonna have to hurt a little bit. And most people don't like being uncomfortable. If you don't want to be uncomfortable, Please do not pursue success because success is a very uncomfortable feeling. I learned to be comfortable being uncomfortable. If you can get that in your head, this too shall pass. Every moment of un everything you've ever gone through, God got you through it. You didn't even realize it. He just got you through it. 
You can't name one thing he didn't pull you through. Well, I lost my mother. I'm still grieving over that. I lost my mama 21 years ago. I still grieve over it, but I'm here. You know, you I got through it. You're going to get through it. But you got to take chance in life, man. Can't play it safe, y'all. You got to jump. You got to go for it. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You've got to take risks. And I'm sure you've probably heard that before. You will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. There's no doubt about it. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. You've just got to believe that you can learn. You don't have to believe that you're already capable of doing what you want. You don't have to believe that you can already build that thing that you dream. You don't have to believe that you already are extraordinary. You simply have to believe that if you take that first step, you put yourself on a journey not of execution, you put yourself on a journey of learning so that you can execute. And that, when you understand that difference, that's when you really will be on that path to greatness. And that is the thing that I want for everybody listening to this. Please understand the only thing you need to know is that you have to take the first step. Whatever the vision is that you have for your life, you absolutely can make it come true. And the process is very simple. The process is about learning. The process is about growing and getting better. It's about recognizing what you're not good at. It's about recognizing what you have to learn. It's about taking that first step on faith. On faith that you can get better. Not on faith that you're great. On faith that you can become the greatest of all time. And once you have that faith, once you know that simply being a human being puts you in this rare category of creature that can get better through pressure, through pain, through difficulty, through failure, those are the things that are going to be the building blocks of your success. But in order to begin on that road, in order to have your first glorious failure, you must first take that first step.